Not often will you hear uglier the better, but when it comes to golf, you probably can. And don't worry, we're not limiting ourselves to one ugly set of irons in this video. Not to mention, apart from obvious reasons, why you should stay away from the supermodel. So let me explain why you shouldn't listen to your mates. And that uglier is definitely better, especially if you want a disturbing amount of distance. Not only have they tried to butter me up with a logoed personalized box, they've even slapped a logo on the bottom of all the golf clubs. However, an ugly test wouldn't be fair without two of the ugliest golf clubs to have ever been manufactured. But let's quickly just categorize what I mean by ugly. I think we can all agree this Mura butter knife is exceptionally good looking, mainly for a few reasons that, well, there's nothing to it. And it's one of the main reasons why manufacturers have spent so long over the last 10 years trying to get their player improvement irons. Try and look something a bit more like this. Yeah, at the same time, if you swing at 70 miles an hour, it goes a tiny bit further. And that one was hit out the middle. So if I was able to hit it out the toe, well, you're lucky to get over a hundred yards. So let's introduce the Gladiators today, both very reasonably priced, but I have put them in stiff graphite because that's exactly, well, what that one is. And we're not only just looking for disturbing distance from the middle, but more importantly, well, every other part of the face. Up first, Ping G Max, monster of a club. Let's be honest, this is virtually a hybrid. Very offset, very chunky, and to be honest, it's going to blow the crown off. <laughs> the beauty pageant. Oh, 72 miles an hour, tiny bit faster. However, and I'll explain why we're swinging at this speed in a minute, but 142 yards carry, 155 yards total. I mean, what would you rather, beauty or the beast? So 70 miles an hour is the goal for all of these as a fair test, as that's around the club head speed. I think all of these are gonna help most. And also why this potentially will be better for you in the future opposed to these ones. Strongest lofted brute out of all three, 29.5 degrees. Looks like a spaceship. So let's see if it goes like one. 71 miles an hour. 70 miles an hour is an important number because bam, we did it. For me, it's the minimum amount of club edge speed to get a seven iron to go 150 yards total distance. And whether it's the MCGB or this Ping G Max, the amount of D-loft as well as the massive chunky head helps the launch for such a low club edge speed. And also for off center hits means that you're gonna somewhat get away with it. Not the best example. Oh, 71 again. Go on, 150 yards, get up there. Keep going. Hey, loads down there. However, let me show you what full ugly is able to do. 71. Thank God for that. I'll show you why it's a Tami 23 shots. I couldn't swing this thing anything slower than 75. Get rid of that one. Slow it down. Oh, that's got to be better. 73, still way too quick. And I don't think that's because technology. I think it's just a placebo effect. I have a hybrid in my hands. I just feel more confident, feel like I'm going to find the middle of the face. However, how did it do against the other two? At a glance, to be honest, there's not really that much difference. Here's the ping, we got 156. Here's the tailor made, 153. The 11, 158. But let's not get anything twisted. Very small sample, and that could be pure human error. I didn't swing them all exactly the same. Some could have launched higher, some could have got more backspin depending on strike. However, this is the interesting number of today. Bring back in the hot stuff. If I dare to hit this thing out the toe, Oh, well, number one, that happens. <laughs> okay, a bit exaggerated. Maybe I should get it to go a bit more forward. Better. Faster than the other three, but heavily out the toe, meaning the ball doesn't know what you just hit or what brand or what head, but you hit it so far out the toe, the face spent more time doing that than actually compressing the golf ball, which is why I want to show you uglier, the chunkier, the better. For example, let's hit this out the middle so you can see the impression on the tape. 
as you can see, pretty alarming evidence off the face there. And fresh tape to hopefully hit the very corner of the club. You can just about see my stripe pattern on the very end there. The point is my efficiency is so much higher even with a toe strike compared to the Glamour model. However, here's some downsides. Number one, the 11's new club, new shafts, they look great, but obviously gonna be quite a bit more expensive than the two second-hand options I've got here, which let's be honest, were pretty close to the mark and won't be as forgiving due to their head start. But in terms of the most forgiving irons without them looking like a hybrid, I mean, to be honest, you can't really go any more than these two. Number two, irons are a sliding scale. Ultra forgiving, very unforgiving. However, very controllable. High shots, low shots, left to right shots, draws, shot shaping, etc. Easily manufactured. This club very much just in one gear. Number three, these gap very well between 65 miles an hour to 75, maybe 77 miles an hour. Anything faster, I can see you hitting a pitching wedge out the rough. 150 yards. If there's anything that we learned through this video is that uglier is bigger and bigger is more distance on any part of the golf club. Guys, if you have any questions on your equipment or golf swing, sasgolfacademy.com. Catch you guys later.